With only seven individual competitions left until the end of the BMW IBU World Cup season, the fight for the overalls is coming to its hottest moment, just as athletes are getting ready for the IBU World Championships in Östersund. On the women's side, the North American swing marked the passage of the yellow bib from Dorothea Wierer to teammate Lisa Vitozzi, while from behind, Marte Osbu Roiseland is slowly catching up. If uh, someone told me that uh, uh, this year I have the yellow bib, I can believe that and uh, it's really, really happy about it and enjoy my moment. On the men's side, despite some hiccups in Soldier Hollow, Johannes Dinesburg has kept a substantial lead on his direct opponents, while the fight for the remaining spots on the podium is spicing up with each day, especially within the French team. Yeah, it's good to be on the top three uh, at the overall. Uh, now I have to to continue to to be performant in uh, Ostersund and uh, in Oslo too to to rest in uh, to to be on the top three uh, at the end. As shooting makes for half of the sport, we kept an eye on who performed the best under this category. Italians led the way with Alexia Rungaldia and World Cup leader Lisa Vitozzi firing over 90% of the shots on targets. Veronica Vitkova, despite some early struggles in the season, has captured a first top 10 result in the US, a deserved result for one of the top shooters of the season. I feel good, we have a very good trainer and he helped me on the shooting and yeah, I, I shoot clean every time. <laughs> on the men's side, Austria's Simon Eda is still the most accurate on the tour, but an improved shooting percentage is what is making it a memorable season for Canton Fillon Maillet. He has moved up in the rankings under this chart and captured his first two wins this season. I try to don't think during the shooting that uh, uh, I try to really keep focus on my shooting, uh, think about uh, some uh, uh, technique or other things like this, but don't think about public or other guy uh, around me. Uh, that's not easy because sometimes uh, on the relay or the race I, uh, I think about uh, the other guy and uh, I lost uh, some bullet. But if shooting makes for half, skiing takes a rest. German Denise Hermann has showed some incredible speed in North America to seize a first win of the season and jumped in the first place of this ranking table. But among the fastest women on tour, Marte Olsbu Röseland has made a name for herself during the season, especially for her incredible final loops. Uh, I don't know, I haven't done so much, I just have one more year with training and this year has been really good for me, physical. So um, also today I feel really well in the track. So yeah, that's, um, I'm just excited for the championships that's coming. <laughs> If the ski speed of World Cup leader Johannes Tignesbø seemed to be unmatchable during the first eight stages of the season, some are trying to catch up, including Austria's Julian Heberard, who has shown some great improvements in his skiing as the race for the medals is about to start in Sweden. When we talk about ski speed, it's a lot about the skis and even about the waxmen. We had a really good wax team this year and I'm really satisfied. I feel comfortable in the current situation and yeah, it makes a lot of fun. Even this uh, season I tried to, to keep the training level high because the World Championships is in March. So um, the ski speed was not perfect up to now and I hope I can do a little bit better at the World Championships, but I'm, I'm really satisfied. Will these values be changed for the highlight event of the season? Will we see more shuffles as athletes will aim for gold in Östersund? The World Championships will start on March 7th.